Okay, so if you've ever looked up in the sky and watched birds migrating overhead, you might have noticed that many of them seem to fly in the same shape. Well, it turns out that flying V shape takes advantage of some really cool aerodynamics that smooths the ride for all the birds in the V, even for the one up front. So how's that work? When a bird flaps its wings, it's pushing air down to boost itself up. That creates high pressure below the wing and low pressure above. But right there at the edge, high pressure air under the wing curls around the wingtip to the low pressure area right above the wing. That creates vortices at the wingtips with air flowing upward. That's called upwash. So every flapping bird trails upwash behind its wingtips, which is right where the next bird sits. The V shape happens because each bird gets an extra boost of lift riding in the upwash of the bird in front of it. That upwash is also tilted forward at a slight angle, so it helps counteract drag. And weirdly enough, a small part of that upwash also exists in front of each bird, so even the leader of the flock gets a little bit of that boost. We don't know exactly how they stay in this V shape, but it might be sort of self-correcting. If a bird gets ahead of the V, it'll stop getting that extra lift and sort of naturally fall back into place. And if it falls behind, where the upwash is even stronger, that extra boost will naturally push it back into its spot. Now, scientists estimate that migrating birds might use 20 to 30% less energy while flying in a V. So next time you see that shape pass overhead, you're looking at an amazing example of natural engineering shaped entirely by physics and evolution. Hong Kong.